Hey guys, Pygar Rules here, happy 2012, and just because the holidays are over doesn't mean our little look back is going to be. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the December 2006-January 2007 issue of Nickelodeon Magazine. Uh, and I should talk about Nickelodeon Magazine at the time. Um, see, the logo's different, yeah, it's because Nickelodeon Magazine around that time, uh, or sorry, Nick Magazine, um, basically changed a few things. And I'm not going to say that the changes were bad, per se, but there were definitely changes. Uh, one of the things, the thickness of the books were actually, there were, there seemed to be less pages overall. I mean, that's not saying every issue was really thin, but most issues were pretty thin compared to older issues. Um, another interesting thing I noticed is that they kind of focused more towards movies and more towards a general kids magazine than, you know, a magazine about Nickelodeon with other stuff thrown in. Uh, which is alright, but I mean, I'd say almost all of the covers, with a few exceptions from this change to when Nick Mag went off, uh, had movies for their covers instead of Nicktoons. Um, and I mean, take, take of that what you will, but um, yeah, th I mean, this is about the time when I just kind of started getting fed up with Nick Mag. I was getting too old, but it just, I don't know, it started changing, and it wasn't for the better. Alright, that being said, this is, you know, Charlotte's Web, and <laughs> fun fact, the, um, the section on the holiday gift guide this year is so thin that I didn't even see it when I flipped through this magazine. I was actually just gonna go and do, um, this review of just random ads I saw, like, oh, this one for Happy Holidays. The Fox and the Hound 2 and Air Buddies, two amazing sequels. Actually, this one's a sequel of 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 a different franchise of a sequel of a sequel of a sequel of a sequel. But, alas, I found it, finally, after recording a whole other video. But, um, here we go. Nick Mag 2006 Holiday Gift Guide. Yeah, they always got the sweepstakes. Here we go. Nick Mag Holiday Gift Guide. Now for the cool stuff. Check out this holiday gift guide for the latest video games, toys, Gadgets, CDs, and more. All right. Tamagotchi Connection Corner Shop 2. Only for Nintendo DS. Create a shopping paradise for over 100 different Tamagotchi customers. Join Mem Memachi, Memichi, and Kuchipachi to serve up fun in the shops like the Sushi Bar, the Concert Hall, and the Clinic. Um, is that the Free Clinic? Uh... <laughs> So sharpen your sushi knife, put on your stethoscope, and open your new shop today. Tamagotchis, man. I miss the I, I miss the actual Tamagotchis. I can't I can't attest for how good or bad these video games are, but I do I, I do remember having my own uh, Tamagotchi as a kid. It was quite interesting. Oh boy, here we go. Disney Pixar's cars for 360 and Wii. Uh, I hate cars. I I absolutely hate the uh, the movie. I. I it's just, Pixar usually does good family films, this was a kid's film, the sequel was even worse, and I'm sure the video game, I'm sure it has its fans, but I don't think I would enjoy it. I'm not a big fan of racing games anyway. Next we've got um, a manga? Yes! Journey into the world of Naruto. Will Naruto ever become the greatest ninja in the land? Actually, he wants to become Hokage. Find out in this popular anime series. Oh, it's the DVD. I'm sorry, it looked like the manga. <laughs> um, okay, all the action and antics is now available on DVD. Wait, isn't it? shouldn't it be all the action and antics are now available on DVD? Ah, grammar people. And read where it all began, where Naruto, it was all in caps, manga, fiction and profile book expires today at Naruto.com. Huh, cool. All right, we have the SpongeBob paint set. God, that is the same picture of... Oh, maybe it's not. I don't know. SpongeBob that excited is like a really creepy picture. Um, yep, yeah, it's soap paint. Um, I don't know what... Show your aquatic artistry. Hey, added alliterative appeal. With all your friends from Bikini Bottom and the SpongeBob soap paint set. The set includes three sudsing soap paints, a stamp roller, a character sponge, and a paint palette. How do you... I, I guess you paint bars of soap. Is that how that works? I, I don't know. All right, next we have Dora's World Adventure Beanie Babies. Our favorite explorer, she's not my favorite explorer, is taking a world adventure. 
Dora is ready to tour some of the world's most exciting places. She's all dressed up for visits to France, China, Tanzania, and Russia. You'll find Dora's World Adventure Beanie Babies at an authorized TY retailer near you. Aw, oh, Beanie Babies, I remember when you were relevant. Okay, we've got How to Eat Fried Worms on DVD. Uh, the silly and funny family comedy is the perfect gift for kids of all ages. On his first day of new school, 11-year-old Billy attempts to gross out deer from the class bully. Eat ten worms in one day. Can Billy rise to the challenge? I only see nine worms on the cover there. Um, so I guess he can rise to the challenge. This movie, <laughs> I saw previews for it. I, I think, is it based off of a book? I do believe so. Um, I don't know. It, I, I don't understand it. I, how do you eat fried worms? I, I don't know. <laughs> um, all right, next we have Gunpy. What's Gunpy? Is that like Gumby's deformed brother? Um, Gunpy is apparently a gaming legend. Gunpy Yoko Yokoi's uh, addictive puzzle masterpiece, brought to life by the creative minds of Q Entertainment. Gunpy is reimagined as two unique interpretations of dazzling music, color, and f for frenetic action, each custom tailored for the PlayStation Portable system and Nintendo DS. You can pick up this modern classic just in time for the holidays. I hate the term modern modern classic. It's pretty much an oxymoron. By the way, if it was so classic, why have I never heard of this? Moving right along. Letters. Lemony Snicket. The Be the Beatrice? Uh, rummage through secret file folders. Read Lemony Snicket's personal correspondence. All right. Um, I guess it's a series of unfortunate events thing. I never, uh, never got into those books. I liked the one movie, but they never made more. And last but not least, Cartoon Network Racing for PSP2. Wait, PSP2. What? Wait, what is the PSP2? I don't get it. Is it the PSP and the PS2? That's so confusing. Um, all right. Or is it the P is it the second PSP? I, I. All right. Cartoon Network Racing Game pits characters from Cartoon Network's classic shows against each other. They are classic shows. They got that one right. Uh, in this kart racing tournament. Hmm. A kart racer. I wonder what that's going to be real. That's that's going to be based off of. Um, the rules of racing are simple. Be the first to cross the finish line and you'll win the race. Add crazy racetracks, tricked out weapons, and special tune powers to the mayhem, and you'll see why this is no drive in the park. Mix and match 24 characters from six different shows to create your own driver, co-driver, dream team. It looks like they got Johnny Bravo, Pop of Girls, Cow and Chicken, Dexter's Lab. Um, uh, that's all they're showing me on the cover. There's someone in the background with a pumpkin, but... Can't tell who that is. Oh, it looks like it might be Mama. Um, all right, yeah. I'd actually be interesting to try out that game. Um, honestly, if it was a Mario Kart clone with uh, with Cartoon Network characters, I wouldn't be disappointed. So that uh, that indeed is that. So um, yeah, all right. So I guess join me in 2007, and uh, yeah, Bad Guy Rules out.